Hola and welcome. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just kind of like, you know. Hola and welcome. <laughs> is wrong with me all right okay hola and welcome today i present to you uh the completion of my portable amplifier project and i'm so glad that it's finally completed because i've been so inspired lately with new with lots of ideas for projects and i've got a queue of projects now <laughs> just kind of you know that are waiting to be started and i'm all excited about that and also there have been many requests for other videos which um from people so i need to kind of like get the ball rolling on everything so uh for this amplifier series for this video series of the, for the portable amplifier uh if you want to see the other videos uh they're all around me in the annotations if you don't see those they're all the links are in the description so so let's go and i will show you all that i have been doing my project finally finished and it's working and everything's finally I've got it right also excuse the bad lighting in the video I this is all I have the uh, whatever's left of the daylight and also a lamp which is here my halogen lamp decided to kind of start smoking up and uh, I don't think it's a good idea plugging that in so this will have to do and here are some detailed photographs that I took earlier on uh, along with making this video because I'm sure that you know it wasn't as clear in the video so I decided to include these too. There is some extra footage that I took uh, because uh, it took me a while to start doing this video because um, they have there were some issues like some grounding issues and shielding issues this thing would pick up Wi-Fi signals and, and nonsense like this like nobody's business and so I had to kind of find some shielding solutions. And um, yeah, that's what the extra footage is about. I will put that all together and uh, release it as a video in the future. Right, so over here is the finished piece. You have, <laughs> I've used black acrylic paint on some of it, so excuse the, <laughs> if I've got black paint on my hand like here. <laughs> These are all the features. I've actually taken photographs of it so you can see it. And at the back here, it's powered two ways and uh, one of the ways is by via mains and this is not actually it doesn't actually draw four amps I've just written that as a safety thing the range it actually draws is 500 milliamps to 1.5 amps depending on you know how how <laughs> intensely you're using it or what voltage but here uh, is the mains output which is you know what I'm designed for it to use and here is the battery compartment with already <laughs> put in batteries i know i know do not tell me how ridiculous this is this is like 12 batteries <laughs> it's ridiculous i know because my initial intention was not for it to actually be a power amplifier but it evolved into a power amplifier so i had to keep the battery thing going but Rest assured, <laughs> I will be mostly using it for the mains. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> this is 12 batteries, which gives me 15 volts. <clears throat> and they're all uh, any loop, my favorite, of course. I'm sure you know that if you've been watching my videos. And um, here is the power brick. <laughs> well, actually, there's something about this. There's something nostalgic about this, too. If you were somebody who is into retro gaming, and also if you were somebody who had a Commodore Amiga, you will know exactly, you will recognize this instantly, because obviously it's, the, it's my old Commodore Amiga 600 power supply. Or it's like a laptop power supply, which gives off, which is like 19 volts, 4.5 amps. So that's what this is. 
<laughs> but I decided to kind of, you know, put it in the housing just to give it that nostalgic theme. So yeah, I'll plug this into the back here next to the Patrick apartment and I will show you the power circuitry of this. Ugh, I've got acrylic paint on my hands. <laughs> right. As much as I can, I've tried to use symbols instead of text because it's sort of, you know, it looks nicer. <laughs> and, uh, and also it looks more compact and less messy. Okay, so first, let's switch this thing on and you will see it light up in all its glory. <laughs> that is the battery level meter. So as the battery goes down, obviously that will gauge its... Right, so this, this switch here switches it to mains. Now, as you can hear that, you can hear the fan switch on and the lights kind of like brighten up a bit. I can afford more power. <laughs> now, I'll show you the difference in sound quality pretty shortly. Switch to the battery for now. And now, let's start with the fun stuff. This, the line out here, going into the line in here. Metal deck. I have the pleasure of using these. Thank goodness. So you see the uh, bass control and the treble control in the center, and the volume is kind of low, <laughs> as in. Now I switch it to mains. Okay, I have added a peak function in here. The peak function basically just lights the last LED on each, so you can see the peak level only. supposed to be it was supposed to start as a headphone amplifier <clears throat> but somehow it evolved into a big portable amplifier now these are Sennheiser momentums they are beautiful headphones it's the best I have I cannot justify buying anything better than this because I don't want to spend too much on headphones the headphone jack here yes it's coming from the speaker still but there's a switch here to switch to headphones As you can see, it's got a capability of driving these well. And I think these are like 25 ohms or something, I, I believe. Around this, around 25 ohms. And of course you switch it back here, the speakers. from my phone uh, or, a file, or a music file from my phone because um, just to kind of like give you the perspective of this right I want to play something that is somewhat recognizable but obviously I cannot play it for too long because 
of the copyright issues, which I kind of resent <laughs> a little bit. That it, the, they are strict to this extent. Right, so what I will play is my all-time favorite. And so that's all I can play of that. Now basically what I've done with the level meter is um, not attach it to the volume. As you can see the, the output volume has absolutely no, dif no effect on this. This is because I've attached this as an input level. Now the best input level is, you know, when it's within range. When it's out of range, obviously it's going to distort, so it's going to sound horrible. So this is dependent on the power of this. And to be honest, this is the maximum I can put this onto. As compared to the line out on this. You can see in the line out on this, if I just quickly swap it here, it's hitting the red. And this is line out. Line out means you no. Know, the volume, it's not the headphones. The volume does not affect it. This line out is for recording. I've actually calibrated exactly to this. This is my calibration thing. So it gives out a good level. Whereas it's the maximum. I definitely prefer the choice of using this as an input level rather than an output level. And these which I'm connecting now are my monitor headphones. quite an interesting journey doing this this project because uh, to be honest I didn't actually plan it I didn't plan how it's gonna start how it's gonna end clearly I didn't plan it because I did not expect it to be this freaking huge because it was supposed to be a small headphone amplifier <laughs> but there you go so this is how I work I'm kind of adventurous with this thing this kind of thing I sort of I like to improvise with everything I do it's like a part of my creative streak I guess Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please click like if you did. And if you have any thoughts, please feel free to comment. If you want to see more, feel free to subscribe. Adios!